Computer science covers different areas of computing. For example, software and game development, programming, cryptography and cybersecurity, database systems and so on. And here we'll focus on programming, where we give a computer a set of instructions to do work. And programming is done in different languages, such as C and C++, Java, Python and so on. And you may have heard of these. And here we'll focus on Java, which is a popular programming language that's compatible across different platforms. And as we'll see, it's an object-oriented programming language, which maximizes the reuse of objects and concepts that are used frequently, such as sorting algorithms. Now an important aspect of programming is the programming style, where we aim to write easy to read code by different programmers so that it's clear what the program is doing. And one aspect of programming style is comments. And these are used to document a program without affecting its functionality. So to write single line comments, we put two forward slashes and write our text in English. And for a multi-line or block comment, we start with a forward slash and star, write in our multi-line comment, and close it off with a star and a forward slash. Now another important aspect of programming style is identifiers. So these are nicknames or aliases for a memory address. And for example, we don't want to represent each memory address being hexadecimal in programming code, as this will make the program extremely difficult to read. So instead we use an identifier that points to a memory address and we set its value. So for example, we have the number of triangles being two and this points to this memory location, where 2 is stored. So generally we have the data type, followed by the identifier, and we set this equal to a value. So here are other examples, where we want to have decimals, so our data type will be a double, and our identifier represents the base of a triangle, and we set that equal to the value being 2.2. .2. And for the number of triangles, We've used a common programming style known as camel case to make it easier to identify the different words used in the identifier. So for example, we have the number or num followed by triangles, which is capitalized, to separate those words and make the identifier easier to understand. So an identifier must start with a letter or an underscore and it can also contain numbers. And while we use numbers to set the value of the identifier, in memory, the value is stored in binary, or ones and zeros, because that's all a computer understands. And here, when we compute the area of the triangle, we access the values stored in memory for the base and height of the triangle, which we set previously using those identifiers. And another important aspect of programming style is white space, which we use to make the program easier to read. And for example, we skip a line here between different parts of code. We also use indentation or tabs to group parts of the program. And for example, by indenting the code in this manner, we indicate that all this code over here belongs to the main function. And one final topic is integrated development environments, which makes it easier to program. So for example, it uses syntax highlighting, so different colors for identifiers and data types and values and so on. And IDEs also have built-in compilers to convert our code from text-based to machine code. So in Java, the code is converted to bytecode and interpreted by the Java virtual machine and translated to machine code that the computer understands. 
please subscribe, like, and comment to help me reach more students.